My name is Robert and we have David and Elizabeth with us and this is a one month marriage checkup. Yes. You guys have been married right now for all, just a little over a month. Excited. Excited. <laughs> and we're excited to kind of see how things are going for you and uh, what challenges you may be having and just how things are going in general. So. All right, first question we're going to have for David. All right. All right, you ready? How did you propose to Elizabeth, and what was her reaction? Um, proposed to her in front of a big <laughs> redwood tree, and um, everything that I had written and going to play the music, nothing would play there. <laughs> so basically got down on one knee and just gave it up to her from the heart and said, hey, will you <laughs> marry me? And um, I think she kind of knew that I was going to propose to her that day, but... <laughs> a little bit? You had a, a little, little bit of a clue? A little bit. He's not very good at keeping secrets, so that's okay. It was... <laughs> it was beautiful. It was. A beautiful... I beautiful cried. <laughs> you always cry. Always. It's okay. Crying is a... It's a quality. I mean... Yeah. It, you know, it... it it means that you're allowing yourself to feel the emotion deeply. Oh yeah. And I think that's a beautiful thing. So, all right, for Elizabeth. Okay. What are some of the skills or qualities that you bring to your marriage, but also your blended family? Because I know you guys have kids from previous marriages, so I know that there's challenges in that. So. What do you feel skill-wise or quality-wise like uh, has benefited you with that kind of blending of the family? I would say probably patience. It takes a lot of patience. Um, there's a lot of, you know, difficulty, a lot of fights and a lot of finding place and, and getting along. So I think having to have patience and just, you know, communication communication and what are the time. ages of the kids if we can real quick sure Go ahead. we have six and two 11 year olds and we have a 17 year old that'll be graduating this year okay and seven. Oh, i said six <laughs> didn't okay. i yeah seven six seven uh, close so we have a six-year-old seven-year-old <laughs> seven. you gotta remember seven to seventeen okay seven to seventeen yeah so four girls all girls. For David, how do you handle the pressure of being a new employee at your work and a new husband at home and a new stepfather at home? So being a new employee at work, um, I work for a pretty decent company. They are very laid back, um, very um, Notice there, they do have a lot of religion and very Christian. So that helps me in ways coming and going to work. Uh, very understanding. Um, I know that I really enjoy this job because I haven't missed any time. I want to be at work. Um, coming home is amazing because the first thing I, I want to see is all the girls I definitely I want to see Elizabeth when I come through the door but I also want to see all the three girls that are there Haley currently doesn't live with us it's being having my stepdaughters um, they're warming up to me yet. Anna she doesn't get my jokes yet dad jokes I always try to joke with her she's pretty serious and then Maya you can't you can't get anything by Maya, the youngest. Um, she's she's great, <laughs> but she's very she's very outreach. Like she'll come up and she'll grab, latch on to me. So it makes me feel good. But I also want to try to show enough love to to Natalie if Natalie's there. I feel like if I don't show all the girls that love, mm -hmm. it. It's like, uh, what, you know. You're being very purposeful yeah. about not playing favorites. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. And um, I noticed, too, not to give in so much to my daughter, my youngest. Uh, Elizabeth is showing me 
that these kids they like to they like us to give in and I've mm. seen certain parts. And they play us yep. a little bit, yeah. of course. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah. we also have the two youngest, so they'll they'll really play us. <laughs> yeah. But we do a lot of like one on one time with them and try yep. to really make each of them feel special. So And our newest thing we wanna do and Elizabeth brought it up, which I think it's a very good idea, is uh, me maybe take Anna one day or Maya, which is her daughter, and she takes Natalie, and we just spend one-on-one -on -one time with them, mm -hmm. even if it's an hour, mm -hmm. show them that we're trying to work, you know, different things, so. So this next question kind of blends in with that for Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. How do you bond with David's children and what are some of the activities that you enjoy doing with them? It's actually been really easy. Natalie is such a great girl and, and Haley, you know, it's a little harder because she's older, mm -hmm. but you know, that's the typical teenage stuff. But um, Natalie, we do a lot of crafts together okay. and she just loves it. It's just, she's always talking about it mm -hmm. and She's always trying to keep up with Anna. Anna's okay. very artistic and they just really, their whole room looks like an arts and crafts like store, like a Hobby Lobby exploded in their bedroom half the time, but. She like making that apple pie with she you. She did, she still talks about that. <laughs> so. Yeah. She doing some cooking and Cooking and, and okay. crafts and a lot of walks. The girls love their walks with us. And okay. Yeah. David, are there any emotional issues or anything from previous marriages or from like an ex-spouse? Do you still have baggage? Do you feel that you're trying to shed from previous as you're kind of transitioning into the new marriage? Um, <clears throat> basically my last divorce, that was probably the hardest baggage, but it seemed like after after the last New Year's when I proposed to Elizabeth, pretty much all my baggage just kind of dropped off. Like mm -hmm. it felt like basically chains and weights just come right off me. And I don't even really care like what's going on anymore. I don't try to communicate with any of my friends that are friends with her. Um, I stay off Facebook a lot more. I I. Like I'll post Toby Mac stuff, and but I, I felt like getting off Facebook was a major, mm -hmm. major thing for me. Like it just it helps me. Um, I was real heavy in politics two years ago. I I pretty much got out of everything. Um, con concentrate more on God, family, and uh, trying to get a house for the family. That's that's the main thing. If I can get a house, I I feel I'd feel <laughs> such a relief. But just right now, with cost of prices going up, rent going up, it's it feels like I'm just work work work. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty much got got rid of all my baggage there. And my ex with my daughters, we actually it's pretty decent. We we don't talk too much but we communicate well with the, about the girls and stuff so we're going through a few issues we're trying to straighten out but always gonna be <laughs> yeah what's been the biggest I guess sticking point with the blending family has there been uh, whether it's an argument or the way the kids are kind of together or something maybe for you I mean is there like one area that seems to stick out with do you want to go first? You want me to go first? <laughs> oh, there's that many. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, I think for us, it's it's navigating new rules because obviously we're gonna mm. parent differently, and even though we we're pretty much on the same page most of the time, but yep. there definitely is that, and especially when you have other people, it kind mm -hmm. of feels like a lot of cooks in the kitchen, and it's it's a lot of relationships and people that ripple out from just just the two of you. It's exes, it's fam other family members, right, right. It's, it's just different ways, a lot of different thoughts coming in mm -hmm. and trying to keep that even keel and... I think that was my big thing, yeah. like, we get them, like, we'll get them again this Monday, so it'll be like, 
we had to work with them a couple of days to get off their mm -hmm. her dad's rules and then my my daughter I got to work with her they get the feeling where they can just go to the cupboards and whatever we cook they don't like and so we we've been really sticking to it me and Elizabeth we're not doing different meals <clears throat> we make the one meal if they don't eat it it's peanut butter sandwich for them um, I don't think they like that so much but um, I feel if you can stay on the same page and I told Elizabeth right off I said if my kids need to be punished you punish them and I'm on the same boat as you you know I'm not gonna say don't you ever and it's the same way with her I mean we don't Anna's not bad at all. It's Maya and Natalie. They're they're the firecrackers. They're the relationship yep. together as, as they're mm. bonding for sure. Anna is such a peacekeeper, so it's been pretty easy with her. But yeah, I'd say when they come together and they have to learn that there's different rules. There's rules here. There's rules there. There's right. That can be kind of difficult. And what our family rules are, we're still establishing them. You know, we just we're just blending and and we try very hard to. Be on the same page and Definitely. always try to make it seem as fair as possible because you know it's with the kids they can feel like they can feel like, know, like the you're one. picking on them yep. we're picking and I, I think that i don't think that they think we're ever being unfair we really sure. try to be on the same page with that so i did learn something and i think it's a good thing i learned it from ron deal off uh family life and he said blended families should it's like a sl slow cooker. He says you put your ingredients in and just let it slowly. Mm -hmm. And he says it'll build and the kids will come together and the families will come together. So, and I feel me and Elizabeth, we're going to make it. We're going to do it. I mean, she's on the same page as me and I'm on the same page as her. So. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no option. We're going to make it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <stuck with me. clears throat> no option. There's no, no option. You heard it here. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it's funny, we feel the same way. It's yeah. like, if you'll make something work if you have to make it work. Mm -hmm. And you'll, yep. Yep. you'll work for something if you're invested in it. And Absolutely. We're invested.